I think of the Yorkshire Dales and what do you think about? Picture postcard scenes of valleys, rivers, maybe dotted with a few sheep and cattle. But there was a time long ago when, wait for it, elephants, hyenas and even rhinos roamed the area and called the north of England their home. Bones dating back more than 100,000 years have been excavated from Victoria Cave in North Yorkshire and now they're ready to go on public display. Our science reporter, Victoria Gill, has been exploring the cave to find out more. This site's particularly important for archaeologists. When we go inside Victoria Cave, we're going so much further back in time. The Yorkshire Dales are picture-perfect northern English countryside. But thousands of years ago, these rolling hills were arid savannah. And many of the secrets of that ancient history were buried and hidden inside Victoria Cave. These archaeologists think it's high time those treasures went on public display. Knowing what I know about what's come out of that cave and what used to live here and what that tells us about how this country actually came to be, I can just never get enough. The landscape in this part of the Yorkshire Dales is peppered with caves, but this one is very special. In the sediments that were excavated from here are the remains of bears and even rhinos that used to roam in this area 125 thousand years ago. So the majority of the cave has already been excavated and we were invited in because we do digital archaeology that involves the community to help put a community project together that would then digitise that collection. It would create a virtual museum, a museum in people's pockets. We flew a quadcopter across this entire landscape and into the mouth of the cave, putting this landscape into context so that people can understand what happened here over time. As well as making some stunning aerial images, this allowed the team to map the site, and that map will be part of their digital museum. Cave that are constantly finding new material. The most important part of this project, though, is digitally cataloguing the remains of all those extinct creatures that were found in the cave. It's a collection that's been in the very safe hands of local farmer Tom Lord. How old is it? About 14,500. All this material is 125,000 years ago. We've got young elephants, we've got lion, bison, rhinoceros. In the 1930s, my grandfather rescued this material and eventually this came to me and I've been looking after it now for about 40 years. As a child, I saw this in glass cases, in cabinets. Uh, and, of course, with new digital technology, we can actually put this out on the web and everyone can see it. And hopefully we can um, put it in a form where people can download it onto their phone, go up to the cave. You can see three-dimensional images of this material. It's virtually like holding these objects yourself. You can put them up and turn them around because each of these objects has a story. I mentioned the word, I live within a site almost of Victoria Cave and it's just a place of wonder really and uh, we're just starting to unravel some of its secrets. Um, I have another update coming um, this time from Istanbul via the Reuters newswires and this is an update in the death toll in those twin bomb attacks in Turkey at that peace rally. Um, the opposition, that's the People's Democratic Party, have released a statement saying that the death toll has risen to 97. It had previously been 86, so it's now 97, according to the opposition, um, and almost 200 people injured as well. So, of course, that um, operation is still going on there, so these figures are likely to change, and we'll bring you updates as we get them. Um, in the meantime, let's pause, though, and get the weather with Peter Gibbs.